And now today's arrest report brought to you by Jeff Trenner and Trenner Bell Bonding. Call Jeff when you're in need. 334-864-5559. That's Trenner Bell Bonding from Chambers County. Today, Chambers County Sheriff Department officials report 137 inmates incarcerated. Overnight, Chambers County Sheriff deputies arrested Joey McClendon, 47 from LaGrange, possession of a controlled substance, possession of drug paraphernalia, attempting to elude, obstruction of justice, giving false name, as well as a fugitive from justice. Crystal Sanders, 38 from Five Points, possession of a controlled substance, Amanda Bunn, 54 from Casita, FTA, as well as a possession of drug paraphernalia, and Jesse Satterwhite, 62 from Lovette, FTA, promoting prison contraband. From Lynette, last night Lynette police arrested Julia Annette Tums, 53 from Lynette, harassment. Shakita LaQuelle Morgan, 29 from Lynette, FTA. Ashley Ann Abney, 27 from Valley, bell jumping in the second. Possession of drug paraphernalia and possession of a controlled substance. Charles Andrew Pollard, 37 from Bremen, Georgia, harassing communications. And from Valley, last night Valley police arrested Summer Chase, bell jumping in. The second. And now funeral notices brought to you by Johnson Brown Funeral Home, servicing Valley and Lynette. Call Johnson Brown the next time your family's in need, 334-768-2149. Mr. John Vernon Smith, Jr., 61 from Valley, passed away on Monday at the Bethany Hospice House in Auburn. He is survived by son Jonathan Smith, and his wife Kara, father Vernon Smith, Sr., and wife Jeanette, brother Mark Smith, and wife Karen, Sister Marilyn Cunningham and four grandchildren, Asa, Eden, Emery, and Eva Smith. Mother Barbara Cunningham, wife Paula Smith, along with two nephews, Elijah and Isaac Smith, as well as aunts and uncles. He was preceded in death by his brother, Richie Cunningham. He was born in Valley on May the 13th, 1956, and was a member of the Blanton Baptist Church. He also loved the fish and was a mason. In lieu of flowers, memorial contributions may be made to one of his favorite charities. A memorial service will be announced at a later time by the family. And that's today's Funeral Notices, brought to you by Johnson Brown Funeral Home.